back. Uh, and I'm back in this world here where I have the rail going, put, picking up things for me, and as you probably saw in my last video if you watched it. And I uh, temporarily got rid of all these chickens over here. got tired of them making noise because I can't hear what's going on around me. So, uh, as you can see, I'm, you'll probably notice I'm in creative mode, and I usually will be in this world because this is the world that I use to test out things in the new snapshots. And uh, you'll notice some visual glitches a lot more than usual in my videos anyway because I don't have Optifine running. And uh, something about this uh, video card here, or the video system in my laptop, causes that. It's, I don't know. <laughs> don't ask. I think it's Intel video. That's your problem right there. Did they fix that? Oh, no. Well, that's okay. I, I can get a potato. Uh, potato. Maybe it was just last stage? Yeah, it was. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Anyway, this is what I'm here for. <laughs> uh, to finally get around to it. I was playing with hoppers and realized that depending on how you connect a hopper to a furnace, and this furnace is actually running, by the way. It's just not lit. I don't know if that's a glitch or what. But, no! Oh. Well, that's okay, because check this out. Um, hang on. Let me get a furnace. Alright, watch this. Automatically starts filling up with coal and raw beef. Uh, because... What's going on here? Ah, there we go. Alright. <laughs> this has been a bad start to the video, but I promise I'll make it better and shorter so that you won't have to watch too much of me rambling on here. But, uh, long story short, depending on which way you put the hoppers onto a furnace, you can have it load either the top here with whatever you want to cook or smelt, and if you load it into the side, you can load coal or whatever into the fuel section here. So you can have a setup like this, which may be kind of expensive, but chest on top, feeding into a hopper, feeding into a furnace, feeding down from that into another chest. What you're doing is you're pulling raw beef or whatever from up here through the hopper into the top part of the furnace here. And that stays that way until you get fuel. So I have this double chest here full of coal, which feeds into this hopper, which feeds into, as you can see here, the side of this furnace. And that's providing coal. And it will always go to the right place. I mean, I've, I've tested and tested this, and it, it just works that way. And uh, I don't know if Mojang has advertised this or not. I mean, they, everybody knows you can go into the side of anything to load. But with a furnace, apparently it's a special case because it loads into the correct place when you do that. So it pulls the meat or whatever out of the furnace into this hopper, which you'll see it kind of flash in there and then be gone, see? Uh, but so that's because it's moving down into here. And, uh, yeah, just mass smelting or cooking or whatever. Granted, it's only in one furnace, and it takes three hoppers and three chests, and they don't have to be large chests. Small chests would work just fine, single chests. But, yeah, I just thought that was pretty neat. I uh, didn't know, I hadn't seen any videos on it, and, uh, like I said, I'm sure somebody has already posted on this, but I haven't, so <laughs> there we go. Uh, just a quick video today. Don't have a lot of time to mess around. Uh, but yeah, three hoppers, uh, one furnace. Sounds like a YouTube video.
<laughs> anyway, I'm going to say bye, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.